welcome to starrets academy so in continuation of the discussion we have already had we'll have more discussion with concentration terms molarity it is represented by a letter m capital m you should write only capital m not small m because small m denotes some other concentration term known as molarity so molarity the capital m you can write in bracket is simply defined as number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of the solution so if we have certain you are preparing solution of certain volume say for example 100 ml of the solution you are making by dissolving a w2 gram of solute so i am taking w2 gram of solute and i take the solvent dissolve it with stirring it forms a solution now again i make up with the solution to a specified volume say vml or 100 ml or 200 ml whatever it is so we can find what is the number of moles of solute it is w2 by m2 we know that the number of moles of solute is w2 by m2 this is called n2 number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of the solution so we can simply write capital m is equal to n2 by v so one uh, equation defining the molarity is m is equal to n2 by v where n2 represent the number of moles of solute and v is the volume of solution in liter because v liter of the solution contain n2 moles so 1 liter contain how much also but normally we don't prepare 1 liter we prepare only few ml few 100 ml or 200 ml like that only for example they are, we are preparing a 500 ml solutions so we have the instruments they are known as standard measuring flask which have a specified volume 500 ml there will be a mark up till this you, you have the solution which is 500 ml like that even we have small smf even 1 ml also we have 2 ml 5 ml 10 ml 25 ml or 50 ml 100 ml and so on so the specified volume of the solution how many moles of the solute present moles per liter you can say so if i have w2 gram of solute dissolved in v cc v cc 10 cc 20 cc v cc or 50 cc v cc of the solution so the molarity is simply given by the molarity capital m is equal to w2 by m2 1000 by v here the v stands for the volume of solution in cc how many cc 100 cc 200 cc and so on so w2 is the weight of solute m2 is the molecular weight of solute v is the volume of solution so this is the simple definition molarity defined as moles of solute per liter of solution here volume term is there therefore definitely molarity depends on temperature because when you increase the temperature definitely some of the solvent can vaporize the volume will be lowering or even you keep this solution in a cold condition it may absorb some water moisture that way increase the volume so definitely it affects the the volume of the solution and in this term equation we have the volume term therefore temperature will affect the molarity or molarity depends on temperature please note down this point molarity depends on temperature so next term is the molarity m o l a l i t y small m normally we express in small m what is this this is also a concentration term to specify the concentration of a solution we express in number of moles of uh, solute but not in volume but in the weight of the solvent this is simply defined as the molarity is defined as this is a equation molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent the so weight 1 kg 1 kg is nothing but 1000 uh, grams therefore we can write small m is equal to n2 over w1 n2 is the number of moles of sol solute w1 is the weight of solvent in kilogram suppose 2 kg contains 
0.1 moles. So, what is the molality? 0.1 by 2. That is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 small here. So, we will continue with this again with more the relationship between molarity, molality and also we see the mole fraction, percentage by mass in next module. Thank you.